simple. Riley, I got my remotes down. Yeah, I know. You're I stacking them the wrong way. I can't see them over there. Oh. Got a car one. Old Junker. That's a hobby zone. That one is a... Uh, actually, that's a top... Oh, top ranking. That's not the same as yours. That one. This is actually a Fatiba. Fotaba. I mean, car one, which is pretty sweet. Uh, you got this guy, and then you got the old school Attack 4s. Ha <laughs> And then the receivers. I got some receivers, and actually, I use uh, these. I got my antenna. <laughs> <laughs> Please. I use these on the car here. So this car, I uh, there's the receiver there, Futaba. Anyway, I used to drive that in college, and I put a camera on the top with two servos, and I drove it around the dorm and into people's rooms and stuff. It was hilarious. And then they'd ask me questions because I had audio on there. They asked me questions, and I'd nod the camera like this or like this for yes and no answering questions. Anyway, the goal of today is actually to get the servos out of this box and check them and see which ones are good and which ones are bad. So, there's two here that are good. We can take off of here. I don't need those on there anymore. And then we're going to look for the ends like this so we can attach them to our servos because we have no servos, Riley. We have no servos in our, in our plane. So, we need the servos. So that's what today's goal is, or the next half an hour. You're going to dig through this box and find all the servos. Here's how I started the gas plane. That's the starter for a plane. There's a charger in there, some other junk in there, some car junk parts in there. Lots of RC stuff back in the day, but yeah, these are pretty cool. These are pretty cool. What? Butch props? Got some props from my plane in college I built. Capacitors? <laughs> what are these? Those are called servos. Oh. So, so we gathered all the servos that we have and we're going to have to test them all now and find out which ones are good and which ones are bad and, and stuff, like, stuff like this that are maybe repairable. But the thing is, is like I'd like to be able to not have to buy a bunch of servos. So if these all work, it would be great. A lot of these are... Uh, Potaba, old school, but well, it should work. So I'm a random, I think they're all PPM, PP, yeah, PPM. There might be some digital ones in here, but I doubt it. So, there you, there you go. What? Dad. <laughs> so look, you know what this is? I told you, so do you remember what I told you? It's the first plane video that he made, so he put his, uh, camera his camera in there and flew it around so that was his very first video yep. and his very first plane that he made yep so on the very first plane and actually that was Justin Hafling's plane his dad's but he gave it to me and I flew it and then we strapped a camera and put a wireless camera in here and had a video uh, tape recorder in my car with a battery hooked up to a thing that it recorded the live video coming back to this and uh, the 9 volt battery is still glued in there with the, the switch on the back. Mm -hmm. And uh, apparently I glued her shut and that's why I put the switch on the back. Looks like I, I glued it shut and then this was my lens. I looked out the front so that the air wouldn't hit the camera, you know? And I put that paper up top apparently because it had a bad reflection. Uh, okay. <laughs> anyway, I thought that was funny. That was in the box. So anyway, time to test all these servos so we can put your... Uh, Playing together. Sure, 15 bucks. Some of those probably cost $50. We'll see. Okay, Riley, what do we got? Bunch of servos. Servos. So, we got some scattered random things here. Generic brands. I don't know what some of these brands even are. Some of these might still work great for us. However, I don't know the brand. Then we've got a nice set of Futaba, another nice set of Futaba, another double pair of Futaba. These are pretty big boys. Probably got some good torque behind them. And then we got some busted crap. And we got this spare Futaba. So, Futaba. Futaba. So, so I think we got enough to at least not have to purchase any. However, this is a little concerning. They're all cut off. So we're going to have to grab the servo tester and test them all. That's your job.
Okay. What time is it? Uh, it is precisely 15.47.15, Saturday, 30th, 01. I don't know, can't read my watch. Anyway, bye-bye. Okay, this is a servo tester, okay? Okay. I got it powered on. This is the pulse width, the different type of, um, see it says 12.5, 25, 50. We're actually going to leave it on 50. Pretty sure that's the standard. And then this, this right now is actually making the output go in multiple, all the way down and all the way back up automatically. And if you push this, you can adjust it manually. And then this one, I don't remember what this one did. I think, it's, I think this one sets it in the middle. So, I'm pretty sure um, this is correct. You can't, you don't want to plug this in backwards, you'll blow it up. Ground is down here on the bottom. In this case, the brown I'm pretty sure is ground. We're going to find out. Then I turn this. That's not doing anything. Let's change the pulse width. That's not doing anything. That's not doing anything. So, pretty sure that that is correct. But let's flip it. As long as the power's in the middle, we won't hurt it. Okay, maybe this one's toast. Now, I know for a fact that this one works. So, let's put that one in. See that? So it's, well, it works on all three modes. So if I if I do that, now it's in the middle. It went to the middle. If I do this, oh, I think we gotta switch it to the right. It doesn't like 50. See how it's jumping around? Put it on 12.5. I think 12.5 is the standard. So you see how it's doing that? We can change the speed. This is how we're going to test every one of these servos. And we're going to make sure that they all work. Tomorrow? Sometime. Now if you hold it, hear how you can hear it? We should be able to hear what I got behind. Did you see that? We should be able to hear if the gears are grinding. That's Sounds really like weird why it. I did that. Sounds like you're killing it. So, we can stop it and we can do it manually. I think it's supposed to be 25. See how it's really steady? Watch, I put it on 12.5. See it bouncing? Yeah, so I think 25 is standard. Whoa. So, this one is good. Let's let's pick a random one that has a plug on it. This one has a plug on it. It's been patched or something or heat shrink. Let's just see if it works. If it works, dun, dun, dun. that works. So I'm gonna hold it. Sounds good. Like there's no grinding of the gears. Not like. Yeah. So. Anyway, you're gonna this good. That one's good. So you're gonna have to test every single one of these on the bench and make sure that they work. You can handle that. Yeah, I'm tired. <laughs> Freak it, slacker.